Empire State Building. What's going on? Hey, GSP, how you guys feeling? Feeling good? Yeah, yeah, yeah? No, that was like not excited at all, right? How are we feeling today, Paramus? We feeling good? Yeah? Thank you all for being here. Um, you, I just saw your shoes, Crystal. Those are kind of fire, Thank fam. Thank you. I got them here. I was doing a little shopping before, so Word. gotta flex the new ones. Dang. Thank you. Thank dude. you. Thank you. Normally, I'm trying to be the one with the with the fire kick game, but <laughs> you stepped it up. Oh my gosh. So um, thank you all for being a part of our summer podcast series. This is like the coolest thing that we've ever had the chance to uh, be a part of, getting to not only see all of these amazing faces in the crowd, but also, I don't know about you, Crystal, when we get the chance to talk to some of these influencers, some of these superstars, some of these people that are way cooler than us, oh does it make gosh. you a little bit nervous or what? I do get nervous still, <laughs> but I'm so excited. We got to chill with her a little bit backstage, yeah. and she is so excited to see all of you guys. We have to say a big thank you to Garden State Plaza for having us out. And everyone that's working, and we are, we're ready to roll. I, mean, I, think, we're, I think we're ready. I, mean, I think they're telling we, us to shut up so we can get to it. Give, give it up for Gia and Nina, come on. Gia! What up, hobby? What up, what up, what up? This was kind of, it's, it's weird because we kind you guys already kind of took the stage and we kind of like spoiled the surprise, but everybody knew. <laughs> Your face is like giant big here on the on the wall here. Yeah, go for it. Tuck in, get comfortable. What's up? How you doing, homie? Good to see you guys. I'm so excited. I walked in and I was like, that's my Yeah, name. no, that's you. That's my you. Name. My name's on the wall. Yeah, you're, and you're your on the face, wall. yes. And my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, and we're here for you. So tuck the mic a little bit closer to you. We want to make sure we hear your words. Do I need to put on these headphones or yes, is so it? Yes, we make sure. And oh. also, Gia, you can hear. You are home. This is home, home to you, New Jersey. I know. Yes. I'm so excited. I, I haven't been home in like two months and to come home to all of you guys like means the world to me and to have my family here too. I was so excited. We saw dad pops yeah. over dad. here. There he is. On come on. Snapchat. Shout out to pops hey, right dad. here. Yeah, dude. Do you have any other friends or family in the audience here right now? My mom and my dog and my brother are actually watching from home right now. Yes. Really? I was like, work, mom. <laughs> she got the technology down. <laughs> That is so that cool. live stream. I know. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and dive into how does it feel to be home and to um, you know see so many smiles, see so many people who have been a part of your upbringing, you know whether it been in real life or virtually, uh, here to support all that you have been able to do since a little you know being a little tater tot. I know since I was a little munchkin. I honestly I say this all the time, but like I fangirl over so many people and for so many of you guys to. Do you kind of like the same thing to me? I don't even want to say it because that sounds so weird, but it still blows my mind. Like literally blows my mind. I've been in this industry and working my butt off since I was little with my with my dad watching me video, videoing just like he's standing right now. Right now. Um, he knows his role. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. No, it, we, it's been such a long and exciting journey that it means so much that you guys are here. Like honestly, I wish I could give each of you a hug. And you know what? I probably honestly will. So. Yeah, it might happen. Yeah, it'll probably happen. Yeah, you've done a lot since you're a little tater tot. When did you first start getting into the music scene and dancing and performing? So, I mean, my mom has been my dance teacher since I was this big. I mean, I want to say since I was literally two. Yeah. Um, so I started competing when I was five, and that's when my mom was like, to my dad, she was like, I think there's something special about her. Aww. And ever since I was five, that's when dance became my passion. But then when I was turned, when I turned nine, I booked Matilda the Musical on Broadway, and that's, yes. what, that's what got me into singing. And then I've never lost a passion for any of it. It just all came from... It really all came from Matilda. When you, when you think back to being five, when you think back to being the same age as uh, some of the youngsters that are here hanging with us in the, in the crowd, do you remember like those moments where you would either, I don't know, dance to your, your favorite video on MTV yeah. or you know, your favorite uh, song on the radio? Like, what were those moments like for you? It's so funny to look back on because you best bet my mom videoed everything. That, that's what I was going to say. Dad's <laughs> yeah. probably got it on everything. a hard drive somewhere. Yeah. I was actually just a few weeks ago sent a video of myself in my living room. Just, okay. Just chilling, <laughs> singing to like, it was like a little, it was like a little music box. Okay. I don't even know. And it was like Dora singing. Wow. All I know is that I have so many videos of me dancing and singing in the living room, and my dad can tell you that he was always like, get out of the way. Like, I'm trying to watch my show. But I was like just showing him like my pirouettes and stuff. Like, I just, there's so many memories about that just because it's all on video. Yeah, yeah. To go through all that stuff is going to be crazy one day. I like, know. For sure. yeah. The for archives. Sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. I want to touch on you being on Broadway at nine years old because yeah. I was not doing that at nine. How did you get into that? 
So my mom's friend from my dance studio sent her the open call audition um, because we had just recently signed with an agency and we asked them about it because that was my mom's like favorite musical that she saw and so she brought me to see it so that I could see if I wanted to ever be in it. I was literally eight so I had no yeah. idea what she was talking about. But I went and saw it and I loved it and so she was like, okay, go tell your agent you want to be in it. And they were like, <laughs> oh, like that'd be so exciting, like totally if there's an audition. But the open call isn't sent by them. So my mom's friend actually sent it to her and she was like, you should just take her. So she took me to an open call audition with like thousands of other kids. Wow. And then after like four or five callbacks, they were like, hey, we would love to have you. Let's go. This story though, of me finding out that I got Matilda was, it's insane. I was literally in the car on the way to New York City with my brother and my mom. And I had had, I had asked my mom, it was the weekend too. So like they had just emailed us, they were closed for the weekend, like the agency. So like you can't reach out to them. But they ended up, I ended up being like, mom, like randomly. I was like, mom, did, um, did they ever like come back from Matilda? Like it's been months. Yeah, what happened? We've heard. Yeah. I was like, did they ever Fill like come in. back with anything? <laughs> She's like, no, they're closed for the weekend, but like I can ask like next week or something. Literally 10 minutes later, they called and told me I booked wow. it. Wow. Oh, you manifested I that. I manifested it. For real, for real, you manifested I swear, I literally manifested that like within 10 minutes. Wow. It was so crazy, but it was a dream come true. But then being in a room with thousands of other kids and you know that you have to stand out yeah. were you just like ready for that did you have this confidence at nine I came from a dancing background like on like for competition so I didn't really think anything of it and I also didn't have high hopes I like didn't even know what I was getting myself into yeah like that was pretty much my first big like you're like I'm just gonna call. do my best yeah that was like pretty much my first audition so I was like sure I was also eight so I was like sure yeah, yeah, yeah. it no, ended up sure. being so fun though because it was dance when you think about, uh, again, you know, to the, the fans that you have, the, the folks who have grown up watching and, and along this journey with you, uh, maybe wanting to follow in your footsteps, what are some of those, like, things that you would tell maybe somebody, that, step right here in the front, you know, so I'm looking at you. But what would, what would be, like, a little piece of advice that you might tell somebody who also wants to go after what it is that they feel is their, their life's passion in their heart? Yeah, so one thing that I've held on to for so long that I've learned over like the course of five years would have to be, it's crazy. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but not everyone in the industry and not everyone in the world, whether you're at school, whether you're at dance, whether you're, whatever you're doing, not everyone's gonna like you and you have to be totally yeah, you're okay crazy. with that. You're crazy because everybody <laughs> likes us. <laughs> yeah, so you are right, you're crazy. Then I have to say differently because not everyone, like not everyone, not everyone likes no. me and that's totally okay. And you have to just be okay with that because if you love yourself, right, self-love first, if you love yourself, you'll be happy with yourself, you can do whatever you want. Your dreams, doesn't matter how big they are, you can do it. Yeah. But you have to accept the fact that not everyone's going to like you. One time for self-love and one time for being confident, well, one time for... Because how many no's are you going to get in this industry? A lot. A lot. Yeah. And you're going to think, wait, do they just not like me? You have to be okay with that. Yeah. I've gotten thousands of no's and like barely any yeses. Yeah. And that's got to be tough to be able to be so persistent, to persevere through yeah. all of those no's. Because at times, I mean, you're, you're going to think, especially when you're putting yourself out there, you're going to take it personally at times. Yeah. But to learn not to do that has it's, got to be one of yeah. those keys to the success. Yep. That's why I say that. Because, I mean, if I didn't have the parents that I have to tell me that, I would yeah. have no idea. Yeah. I don't know how, I, I don't know if I'd be sitting here right now if it wasn't for Well, them. you are, and the sun is shining on you right now. Look at that glow. <laughs> it was meant to happen. It was yes. meant to happen. Come on. Now, after yeah. Matilda, you kept going on, on Broadway and doing music. Yes. Goals. You worked with Zac Efron and Zendaya I on did. something. Yeah, fam. I did. I filmed the Greatest Showman movie with them. Come on. Wow. Yeah. How was that? That Beyond was awesome. Set and everything. That was a super fun experience. I actually flipped into. I I just went from singing and like doing kind of like hip hop jazz on in Matilda. I went from that to being on point for seven hours on set. Mm -hmm. It was a little different. Wow. But. That's what being a well-rounded dancer does. Mm -hmm. Dude, so give it up for some of that, um, you know, I don't know, some, some of that, I use the word persistent already, but just some of that, that confidence again, knowing that you can make that transition, knowing yeah. that you, um, yeah, you've taken those years of, of dance. Uh, take this time now to shout out to some of those people who had been instrumental in your life to help you yeah. at an early, early age in your career to, you yeah. know, have those moments of self-confidence, to know that you can do it. I honestly give 100% credit to my mom. She was my dance teacher. Word. She taught me literally everything I know to this day. Word. And she, if, if she couldn't teach it to me, she brought me to someone who could. Who could. Wow. But yeah. she, my mom taught me the foundation of dance. And who did she learn it from? I don't even know. <laughs> my mom grew up as a dancer, but I don't, she didn't take it seriously at all. I don't think, mm -hmm. like literally at all. Did she you was, mom? Cause she's gonna watch this video right here. Did, <laughs> yeah, dad yeah. is like, she took it seriously. Yeah, Did she? She, yeah. she took <laughs> it seriously. Well, I know she was, a, she was really, really passionate about tap. 
That's awesome. why I love tap is because she loved tap. Aww. But my mom didn't take it as seriously as I do yeah. into like the whole profession. <laughs> she just kind of did it as something she was really, really good at and she loved, but not something she wanted to do for the rest of her life. That's why she taught dance. She didn't want to be a dancer. She wanted to teach. Wow. Yeah. That is mad cool. Um, to all the moms, shout out to all the moms that are here with their daughters, with their sons here. Yes. To all of those who have uh, instilled that strength in their uh, young men and women. Um, Gosh, man, family is a big thing with you. Very and much. And that's really, that's really cool. And I've asked this question before. We talked to a lot of amazing people before who hold on to that, that, that sense of how special it is to have your family with you. Yeah. How not only special, but important is it to have those closest to you that will always have your back? It's always been important because my family is so little. I literally have four people in my family. I don't really have extended family. We're very tiny. It's just the four of us, plus my dog, my yeah. cute little dog. <laughs> um, but I have a brother, and then my mom and my dad and my dog, and we've always stuck together through literally thick and thin. Yeah. I have definitely not the normal um, child life. I am homeschooled since I was in fourth grade, so I've been taken out of school, put in back school, like the whole thing. Yep. Um, I, I live on a different coast. Like, it's a whole thing. It's so definitely I definitely. Different. I definitely don't have the normal life, and if I didn't have such a supportive family that was just go with the flow, and they were like, whatever you want to do, we'll be right here, I wouldn't be where I am today. That's why they're so important to me, because it, that's the parent that I, I want to be. I want to be the parent that's like, if you want to play soccer, I'll travel with you to play soccer. Like, Boom. Yeah. Heck yeah. What about dude. Brother Bear? What is he doing while you're uh, shooting movies and on Broadway? I honestly need to ask him that question a little bit more <laughs> because I don't know. He obviously thinks I'm crazy. He thinks I'm a psycho because he's like, what are you doing? But obviously he's, he's like best friends with my dad. So Aww. him and my dad talk about it all the time. But I, I should ask him that question more often of what he thinks because he just thinks I'm something else. <laughs> yeah. Um, who, who is the one that kept the, the most... Um, organized room growing up as a kid who, who was a clean or right, you were all right <laughs> we're gonna add, we're asking sibling questions here mm -hmm. um all right who was the brattiest probably me okay who all got right. in trouble more him okay oh. that's i don't even know why i thought about that <laughs> him, not me oh, um, I, i'm the baby of the family so obviously i was like the munchkin so he always yeah. got in trouble he's the big brother yeah all right so did he uh always share his snacks with you you know what i mean or yeah, I want to say he did. I never shared with him. Okay, wow, you were a brat. He was always taking over the remote control and always trying to hog oh, the TV. Him, that was him. That was him. But I also, like, I wanted to be just like him when I was little. Yeah. So anything he would do, like, even with his homework. Like, I'm literally nine trying to do, like, algebra because I just wanted to be just like him. So, I mean, if he watched, like, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, like, I watched it with him. Yo, all right, so, you know, that was, uh, I was going to go down that path also. Growing up as a kid, I mean, obviously, being in front of the camera, um, you know, sharing your life and doing the things, but what were some of those things that you just loved to do that were just regular, and even to this day, are just regular every day? This is just what I do because I'm Janie, and these are the things that I do. Yeah. Normal stuff. Normal stuff, let's think. Normal stuff I do. Oh, I make TikToks just like you guys. <laughs> yes. And I know yes. every, I know everyone out there has like 300 drafts that they just like stare at. Like right, you yeah, don't right. actually post them. I just know. You have a lot of drafts? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Right. I know you do. <laughs> okay. I, even though I post it to millions of people, I still have like a bunch of drafts that are just like fun. And I just hung out with my friend yesterday and you want to know what we did? We went swimming, and okay. then we, we baked a cake and made slime. Okay. Wow. Yes. I'm going to be 18 next year, and that's what I did with my friends. You <laughs> baked the cake and made slime. Mm -hmm. Regular things. Just regular things. Whoa, dude. Yeah, okay. All right. So um, when you go through those more than 300 drafts, what does it take to take one out of the drafts folder and place it on the platform for the world to see? I just think what everyone... Like, what do people laugh at? Yeah. What do people, what will people like comment about that I can comment back and laugh with them? <laughs> there was a comment the other day and I was talking, I showed them, I like did my makeup routine or something. And I was talking about like the products or whatever I was using because that's a frequently asked question. And the top comment on my video said, even if you were talking about Adams, I would still stay and watch the whole thing. Wow. <laughs> and I was like, that's the sweetest, cutest comment I've ever seen because like, obviously no one wants to listen. So yeah, I don't, about yeah, that. about Adams, yeah. No. But for them to be like, even if you were, I would still listen, like, that's why I do what I do, because that's the cutest thing ever. Like, literally, that comment melt my heart. I was like, oh, my God. So cute. And when you're scrolling, sometimes you find yourself in these weird TikTok black holes. Oh, yes. 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 I, t I oh. like, like, beekeeper TikTok. Yo. Like, I all of a sudden know everything about bees, uh -huh. and I love it and right. I'm passionate about it. Yeah. Even my parents. What do, what do kind of 
black holes have you gone into on TikTok that you've really just, I don't know, fascinated over? Everyone has their own, like, For You page, right? Like, yeah. What's, like, what's yours? Bees. So, yeah, that's what I was going to say. My, bees, there's a lot flowers, of travel. People who know me, there's plants. a lot of travel. All right, plant, cats probably for you yeah, also, cats Crystal. Yeah, sure. um, I definitely have a whole, like, crazy, like, uh, snack hack type of a <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah, like, all this kind of stuff. Yeah, that's my For You page. What Mine, about? Mine used to be, like, all dance videos. All right. But now it's all dogs. Wait and I'm not mad about it, but it's like dogs and toddlers. And my mom and I's chain of texts is like only sending each other this Yay! TikTok. Dogs yeah. and toddler TikTok videos. It's back. so cute. Oh like when the golden retriever's like with the toddler. Like it's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> well, we, we've got to talk dance. And obviously that's a big and it's a core part of, of who you are and what you do. And living on the West Coast and, you know, man, just, just sharing your craft. One of the things as we have all seen the, the millions of views on some of these routines and all this kind of stuff. Um, you're, you're just being who you are. And how fun is it for you to share your love of dance and have it be so close to and so genuine and yeah. that's who you are. You're not doing anything to fake it, to make yeah. it. Yeah, that's what I'm most grateful for is that my job is like genuinely like my passion and like what I do on the daily, even yep. if I didn't have it on social media. Um, I got really, really lucky with that. And I'm always talking about that with my family that like, I, I, I look back and I'm like, I'm sitting there at dinner, I'm like, it's kind of cool I get to do like what I would normally do every day just because I love it and like people enjoy watching that yeah absolutely and not only dance I mean yeah. you're also doing music I now know. Oh. come on dude you put out a song in 2020 that went absolutely insane yes. how did that transition go I mean artists and creative people they they are all over the spectrum but you're really taking music seriously now no yeah I really really like I enjoy it a lot because um with dance you get to like ex express how you feel with movement and that like doesn't take any words which is tough for me because I'm not one that loves to just like talk it out. That's mm. not that's not me. Um, so that's why I love dance. Dance comes in handy. But for me to be able to write about something super personal and share it with you guys, but not have to be crazy specific and like not really have to just pour my heart out like in that type of way, but sing about it is just a different type of like joy that I didn't know I needed because I'm so used to like expressing without saying anything. Man, um, I think I mean we have some clips of your your TikTok. Ugh. Feed. I got some funny TikToks. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, should yeah. we check and see what we have on the? Uh, we got our visual team over here. You, you ready, Doc? Yeah, go ahead. I mean, let's fire up one of these videos. We're gonna have you explain what this. I have no clue which one we're gonna fire up. Okay. But, oh boy. Oh, this Aww. song is everything I never said, and I'm sobbing. This so one's this. About my new song. Mm. Come on. That's my new song. Wow. That's the first time I heard it back for the first time since it like was done. Yeah. I was like sobbing in my room, but it's okay. <laughs> but it goes to exactly yes. what we were saying. All right, that so new music. That. Well, writing that, you're writing your own music. What yeah. kind of space were you in when you were writing that specific song? Well, I'm actually writing it with um, my writer, Luke. He mm -hmm. helped me with 100%. Can't, can't discredit that at all. He literally, he's amazing. But we, I did send him a long paragraph of me um, <laughs> ranting, and he did help me put that together. But um, it's, it's really, really personal. Yeah. It's a really, really personal song, and they all are. All of my songs are true stories, which yeah. I think is kind of cool. Yes. It's like a look into my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that was when I first got my song back, and I was literally sobbing in the car with my mom. It, it's 100% true to you, and we talked about this before we came up here, and we're going to offer an amazing introspective uh, look into it for, for our fans that we have here. Uh, in the mall, but yeah, when you're opening up your personal diary and you're sharing your story and yeah. you're putting it to song and you're being so open and vulnerable, there's got to be a level of of fear. How, oh. how scary is it as terrifying. a songwriter? Really, it's terrifying. Um, yeah, just because you don't know, it's just like when you post anything, you don't know how anyone's going to react. Yeah, you don't know if people are going to take it a different way. Like you have no idea, especially when it comes to something so personal. But I feel like. I'm 17, and I know all of you guys are probably like 13, 14. Like you're around, you're around, you're teenagers, you know. Y'all can relate to me, and it's a teenage thing. That especially, that's why I love TikTok, is because I feel like TikTok is a teenage group chat. Yeah. yeah. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm not gonna tell so, you you're wrong. I'm sure not. <laughs> TikTok nope, you're is a teenage absolutely. group chat of like just how we feel about the random, most random things. So I feel like when I write stuff about my personal life, it helps like someone else because they can be like, oh, maybe I'm not the only one going through that. Mm -hmm. Um, and it also helps me because the comments really reassure that I'm not the only one. Yeah, yeah. for sure. 
So you get that instant response back from from fans, from yeah. you know other people out there. Uh, yeah, that's got to be, oh, gosh, I guess reassuring at times when you see yeah. that you are hitting the nail on the head. You know, more often than you maybe tell yourself, you yes. get to see it back. Yeah. And then when you're growing up and you're in the car with mom and dad, they're taking you to your practices and your recitals and all that. What were they having in the car to play so that you now it's kind of part of you? Yeah, I, I honestly, up until this past year, wasn't a huge like, I don't like I didn't have a playlist up until this year. Like I find that crazy because I'm a dancer and everyone else finds that crazy too. Yeah. But I wasn't a big like music listener or like had a playlist. Like I danced music and that's really the only time that I listened to it. Up until this year, I fell in love with, um, obviously, everyone loves Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah. Um, All right. That's, she's a big inspiration to me because everything she wrote was obviously personal. Yeah. Um, but I also love Tate. Tate McRae is another one because, one, she started as a dancer, so I can Fact. relate to her on that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but music blew up for her, and she just has taken off. And I love her music, too, because it's always personal. I just want things to be genuine, and I want things to come off relatable so you guys can feel the same way I do and not stress over stupid little things because I do the same thing. Yo, we've had the chance to talk to both Olivia and Tate, yeah. and for you to have those two young women to look up to, to now even be like, you know, friends with, industry peers with to yeah. some degree. Yeah. How weird and how cool is that to think like, yo, it's these so are like my friends. Weird. It's so weird. Like, it's so weird. I remember watching Tate on So You Think... Yeah, I think yeah. So You Think You, so dance. you, think yep. you Can Dance. I literally remember watching her on So You Think for the kids, and I was like, she's so good. And I'm, I specifically remember her on that show. Her special talent was singing. Yeah. Do you guys remember yeah, that? See, oh, I didn't I, know that. That was one of the things. Well, I mean, it was because the part, I mean, clearly the show, we all have seen the show, it, it, So You Think You Can Dance, you know? So you think, and like, who like, is this random girl yeah. who can dance, but she loves to sing even more so? Yeah, I, I specifically remember one episode, and it was like, what's your special talent or something? And they showed her singing, and then... Ever since then, she started posting on like YouTube or something like that, like yeah. her songs every week. And I've been following her ever since then. So seeing like you broke me first really like blow mm -hmm. up for her is insane. What is that like to think that the same way that you grew up following her career, yeah. we've got people following your career? That's, I still don't believe it. I believe still it. don't believe yeah, it. We, we got people, you, right? Believe it. You're, you're doing that, right? That's so yeah. crazy. I'm so grateful for you guys. Like, honestly, I hope one day I can believe it. Like, I hope one day I can, like, tell myself, like, no, like, I'm being serious. Like, that's what it's like. Because it's honestly so surreal. Like, what? Well, yeah, we're here at Garden State Plaza on the summer stage yeah, talking to you. Yeah, the fans here. You know what I'm saying? Back home this is in it. Jersey. How I cool. Know. It's real life. Pinch yourself. Mm -hmm, all right? Yes. Like, this is for real. No, literally. Um, should we break down another TikTok video? Yeah, should let's we find another? Which one's I, I don't know. I don't know what we have. We got another video? Yeah. Oh, this one's from our song, too. This is, I mean, these are moments. Mm -hmm. So... The first one was an unfinished version. This is when you first got it back. Does it become a little bit more real when you're in the car, when everything is put together, and you're not sobbing yeah. to the song? Yeah. What are those emotions like? Well, okay, on this video, I got the release date for yeah. when it's coming out. I got the okay to tell people and everything. So I was like so excited. Which is, by the way, you want to share with the world? August 19th. Boom, yeah. couple of days August from now. August 19th. Yeah. You guys, the pre-save link is out now. So that's like in my bio and stuff. So you guys can pre-save it, hear a little bit of it. But that was when I got the actual date of my song. So I was like freaking out because I got to tell everyone and it was finished. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but I was so excited. And just as excited as I am now, smiling from ear to ear. I'm August 19th can't come fast yes. enough. Like, can it come a little bit faster? I don't think no, so. No, it's almost it's, here. It's, it's almost, almost here. It's almost here. here. Yeah. One week, right? One, yeah, yes. Think, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're, and now you're, you're back right home. You're getting to see your friends and family that you haven't in a long time. Yeah. What are they saying about this, this new life that you're taking on, this new found stardom? I always ask my aunt that because when we do come home, we always make a point to see her. But... She's always like, what's new? What's new? <laughs> what's like, the Look new at my song? face, it's on the side of... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I always tell, I always try to catch her up, obviously, and same with my friends, but she's like, what's the new song? Who's it about? Like, do you have, because I always have them unreleased, like, like, unreleased, like, little things in my notes, sure. like, that I can, like, share her and show her. And she was like, I love it, like, what's it called? And, like, I just, it's so fun getting to share that, because when you come home, it's a different type of comfort. Yeah. It's a different type of, like, I grew up with you. Like, we've been friends for over 10 years. Like, you're pretty much my family. Like, 
just updating them on like what everything is going on because I do live across the country. What what is that like? Yeah, to be apart from your family, to be you know away. But yeah. I mean, we do have this, which is so amazing about social media technology now is that you know family is a, a FaceTime away. You know, yeah. but to be away from your family, those hugs, mm -hmm. those conversations, those genuine eye contact moments. Yeah, is that difficult at times? Do you do you miss home from time to time? Yeah, I definitely do. I have been away having to like be away from my family ever since Matilda because yeah. obviously that was in the city. We live an hour away. Um, so we did have an apartment that my parents would switch on and off from so that I could see both of them, even though I would go home on Monday on like my day off and like be in my normal house yeah. with everyone in the house. But um, no, I, so ever since I was nine and then when I was on Dance Moms, I was six months, for six months, I literally didn't see my dad or my yeah. brother because um, I was in Pittsburgh and now I live in LA and we've been going back and forth to LA for almost five years. And I finally just got an apartment there, so I come home every, like, two months. There you go. Congratulations yeah, with the new apartment. Thing. All right. Thank you. So, honestly, I live on FaceTime with my dad. Um, <laughs> he knows that. I don't get to see him as much as I wish I did. But since I do have an apartment now, he comes out and visits, like, yeah, for months dad, at a time. Yeah, you got a place this day. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Um, but, no, I'm beyond grateful for the fact that I live across the country and I am best friends with my dad. Yeah. And what have you found are the differences between home here in New York and New Jersey and over there in California? The difference of, let's think, let's think. Well, when I come home here, I forget that there's four seasons. True. Yeah. yeah. So every time I come home, it's either snowing or it's 80. <laughs> yeah. Like today. And then I go back to LA and it's just always 90. 100%. You're so correct. So I'm like, oh, so like, what do I have to pack to come home? Because do I need a snow jacket or do I need yeah. a bathing suit? Yeah. Okay. yeah. What, yeah. What did you pack this time around? This time around, I packed a bathing suit just because I'm constantly on FaceTime. So I know that it's literally 90 because my dad's yeah. like, I miss the LA weather. Super hot. Because oh. it's so humid here and it's not humid in LA. So yeah. it's like so different for him. And the bonehead's in here wearing sweatpants. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I did not plan properly. Not I even guarantee, lie. though, next time I come home, it'll be snowing. Just it, it will be. Yeah. So What, bring what about the people in California? Do you think there's a big difference? Oh, big, big, big difference. In the nicest way possible, I, I, love my, I love my New York, my home people, only because LA is such a neck and neck industry. Everyone's out for themselves. Yeah. And in the nicest way, in the for best sure. way possible, you have to be confident in their, like, you Only for yourself. Yeah, you have to, you have to work hustle. Your butt off. But um, it's reassuring to come home and know that people do have your back. Yes. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of people here who have your back. And we then, had, oh, yeah. go for it. No, go for it. Go There's, for it. I, I definitely found my people in LA that are like obviously people that I can lean on, but coming home is a whole different story. Whole different story. Yeah. All right, so here, here's where I was going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you, Steph. I'm going to put you on, on uh, you want to come up and, and hang? You've been waiting here for a little while, right? Front row seats here to see Giannina. You've been super excited about just being a, a fan. Enjoy, enjoy the conversation. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Tell everybody your name. Hop on the microphone. Yay! Hop on the microphone. This is a part of our this is a part of our podcast series where I mean you're you're a part of the show. All right. Like now the sun is shining on you, girlfriend. Uh -huh. Hey. All right, the mic is on. Go ahead, introduce okay. yourself to everybody that's Hi watching guys. and listening. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Sylvia. Sylvia, All nice right. to meet you. Nice to meet you. So to be a, a to be a fan, to be a, a, a real one, to be someone who is you know, who has watched all the videos. What is it like to hear this insight to, uh, you know, who she is and how genuine? Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're sitting next to me right now. This is so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's real life. It's, it's real life. But yeah, I mean, so what is it that you love most about what she's shared that just yeah. makes you a, a, a part of the family now? Yeah, well, I've been doing dance for 10 years. Where? So, um, you've always been like an inspiration to me and stuff. And I love Broadway and theater and yeah, Matilda, just and your music. Yeah, I just love you so much. Thank Game changer. What kind of dance have you been doing? Wait, sorry, say it again. What kind of dance have you been doing? Um, I do all ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, lyrical, modern. Yeah. Yeah. Love. Nice. So when you see again, we talked about this a little bit earlier. When you see that who you are is genuinely rubbing off on the the fans that you have, how does that feel from from your heart to her ears? What is it? What is that like for you? It's it's a different type. Like I said, it's a different type of comfort. Yeah. Um, knowing that like you look up to me is it means so much because I didn't start doing what I'm doing to inspire. I did it for myself, but yeah. for me to be able to project that onto other people, like that's a different type of happiness yeah. that comes with it. So I'm so glad that like you 
found your passion, but you also get to like look up to me. That's so fun. That's so fun. I told you Sylvia, I was gonna put you up here, girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like really. Sylvia, do you have any questions for Jeannie? Oh here? yeah. Um, what's the first fa your favorite person you collabed with and why? Ooh, like, that's a I good one. Favorite videos. person I've collabed <laughs> with. Hmm. Collabed like on TikTok. Just anywhere, YouTube, TikTok, anywhere. dance. Thing. Someone yeah. you vibe with, someone you're now besties with. Yeah, someone that I collabed with and didn't expect to become best friends with was my friend Sage. Um, you definitely know yeah. him. Yeah, <laughs> everyone probably knows Sage. Um, Sage is one of my really, really good dance friends. Um, I collabed with him just because we were at the same place at the same time. And yeah. both of us are very to ourselves at first, um, but we're extroverts, just not at first. So when I kind of got to know him and like became friends with him, I was like, so you're on the same vibe as me? Oh, Got it. Yeah. So we, we made a dance video together, and ever since, I think, 20, 2019, we've been friends. Um, but he's the best to dance with. Like, honestly, he's such a good, he's such a good dance partner. So just being, having to share the same um, career path For and, sure. like, also being on social media and people also loving us as, like, a duo is so fun because having a dance partner that you can, like, rely on is something that, like, I always hoped for. So. Yeah. Doug, when it comes to dance, are you, uh, like, can you pick up choreo hello quick, Crystal, or? Oh, I was a dancer a little, too. So My mom had me a little tap and a little yeah. strip, you, yeah. you could do that, like, in, like, a, a 30 minutes, you could figure something out and bust out a whole dance? Well, different types of dances are different. I specialize in ballet folklorico, which is, like, a Mexican style yep. with the big dresses. Um, so it'd be different for me to try to pick up, like, a, a tap step. But a lot of dances all similar. I mean, yeah. they're all, all diff similar beats, but maybe just different ways of... Yeah. Of moving and like, I a rhythm. Know, I don't know if I could pick that up fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can. I'm used to picking up like hip hop. <laughs> yeah, how is that like a thing? Like, do any we have any other dancers that are? I mean, yeah. Okay. How do you how do you do that? How I, that's my genuine question. So how do you how do you learn something that is so dope? in 30 seconds and then turn around and you have a video camera in front of you, you're dancing, Chris Brown has commented on stuff. Like, how do you make that happen? And like, what is going on? I'm just baffled. It's such a talent. I don't know. It ta definitely takes a lot of practice. Yeah, I feel like after you've done it for so long, it kind of just... It becomes like second nature. Yeah. Really? It's just the same thing as like remembering your vocab words for your test. Like you okay. have to memorize it. It's like the same thing as like memorizing I suck test. at spelling too, so... But don't yeah. cut yourself. You can do the electric slide real I well. I, yeah, no, he yeah, into I, that I one, get the, the electric slide. Step. Yeah, let, let's not talk about my twerk. You know what I'm saying? I got, yeah, I got some talent. But no, you got, no, I'm just it playing. Takes, no. It, takes a lot of, it takes a lot of practice. I yeah. definitely would say that's like the hardest thing for dancers, I think, is like retaining the whole combo. You yeah. are so good. Let me just tell you. Oh, thank yeah. you. No, for real. I've I been mean. doing it for so long. I would hope I'm at least decent. No, you're <laughs> more than decent, yo. Um, how about we? Do we want to check out another video? Yeah, let's do it. We're just pulling a grab bag of videos from your feed. I'm you have nervous. so many. I, have so I, I don't many. know what we got. Let's see what's up with this one. Oh, we, uh -huh. yeah, man. Johnny. Yeah. Okay, so hold on. Mm -hmm. The DMV. Dad. All right. It's my most hated place. That was at the you, moment. Dad. That was with you, Dad. <laughs> yeah. we, we need to know about this experience at the DMV. How did it? How did it finish off? Well, going to the DMV is just not fun, and That's... I didn't know that because once again, I I had never been to the DMV. You'd never been to the DMV. So, yeah. Uh, we were going to the DMV to take my permit test, and my dad was with me, and just my dad is just a little bit, a little bit of a hothead. Love you, but it's just a little bit, just a little, little bit. So taking him anywhere that there's like a line or like people that just don't want to be there in general, like everyone yeah. else in DMV didn't want to be there. Nobody so wants to So the go. vibe wasn't good. And we're standing in line for literally two hours. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the DMV wasn't my favorite place, but it's okay. Did you succeed? I had, did the permit no, through come I didn't through? No, <laughs> oh, oh We were gosh. just taking my picture that day. Okay, But All no, right. I mean, we, I didn't succeed either way, but I was just taking my picture You're just taking your picture. Do yeah. you think you took a fire picture? Because mine on my driver's license is the worst. Actually, I actually was wearing like a Disney sweatshirt and I didn't know they were taking it that day. Oh, Dang. Yeah, it's okay. okay when they do that. It's okay. Forever going to be the person with your ID. You're gonna, they're going to ask you forever if you have a Disney sweatshirt on. <laughs> yeah, even when you're 29 years old, dude. Just saying. Yeah. Well, I love that your dad's down. Is he usually down to do TikToks? What about mom yeah. or brother? Am I my dad is definitely more down than my mom, yeah. um, just because like he he gets it. he can't dance. I love oh. you, dad. He can't dance. My mom can Don't dance though, so it. she's like, I'm good. Even though like you'd think it'd be the other way around. Yeah. No, my dad is always down for me to teach him a new thing, or even just stand there in the back like that. Uh, yeah. I was like, Dad, smile. <laughs> so okay. you, you saw that TikTok, obviously. Yeah. What are what are some of your favorites that you've come across or you scrolled across on the feed that you know kind of stand out to you? Not to put you like totally totally on the spot, but what yeah. are some of those videos that you were just like you couldn't stop laughing? You had to share with friends, or you also felt the pain of having to wait in line, you know, at a yeah. DMV situation. I feel like anytime she's 
like you're goofing around with like Sage or yeah, yeah, just like your friends in general. It's always funny. It gives me a good laugh. Yes. <laughs> it's a community. You yeah. built a community. There's a few of those for sure. I there's a one of me and Sage like in the kitchen. Like what he was making like taco salad or something. Boom. And I think I was just like recording and the most random things happen when I'm with my friends and I just like turn the camera on. Yeah, and that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. How I mean that's got to be pretty cool to have. Just your, your, again, we said this a couple of times during the conversation, you're not trying, you're just being yourself. Yeah. To share who you are on a platform like this. What were some of those initial thoughts, though, even, when you started to, you know, really, uh, you know, take from what you did on stage, on, you know, Broadway, you're talking, the TV, the dance block, but then you're like, yo, I want to share who I am on social media. Yeah. Like, was that a bit nerve-wracking, or were you just like, you know what, screw it, I'm just going to do it, I'm just going to be me, and let's go for it. I've always lived by YOLO. Like, well, I had, I really didn't <laughs> have any thoughts. I had no thoughts when I was, like, starting social media, because I was, like, I've been on it since I was little, because my mom always, like, had a little, like, blog for me. Yeah. Um, that they've always named Giannina's Journey, since I was literally five. Hasn't changed the handle at all. Nope. So when I got to take it over by myself and start posting things that are like more personal, um, it was it was like second nature to me. So for, sure. for me to share my life on the internet kind of was a thing that I had been doing forever and ever. You've grown up with it. Yeah. Entire life. All right. So whenever you feel like okay, I, I need more. I don't know. I'm a little lost. I need more creative juice in me. What do you do? Who do you look to? Who do you talk to? What do you watch? Hmm. That's a good that's question. A, that's a good one. Like when you're that's writing or when you like are just trying to come up with choreo or something? I don't even know. Normally, normally if I have like a, like a, like a mental block on anything, mm -hmm. um, literally even the simplest thing or dance or music or anything, the easiest thing for me to do to like forget about it and just kind of like get over the bump in the road is hang out with my friends. Word. Like we'll go bowling. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like the <laughs> thing to do in my area in LA, I guess like, yeah, it's like close to me. So like in my area is my friends and I will just go bowling, and I've gotten pretty good at it. Oh, that, I have to say so Are you good? Yeah. Except when our nails are on. That was, yeah, that's that's the, the only time. <laughs> you guys all have bomb nails. Let me just go yeah. ahead and dang. Nails are popping in the summertime. For real. We'll do. I'll just do something silly like that. Like I'll go bowling. We'll go to Top Golf. Yeah. We'll go to the beach. Like if I just have like a normal, like a normal kid day, just yeah. anything, like not anything type of work, no type of dance. But you still are a normal yeah. kid. You still are a normal, you know, yeah. person. Um, you know, and, and that's. I mean, not that that's to change at all but as these uh these signs with your face giant here at the garden state plaza or you, tend to you know when, uh, yeah when you start to see in a cup in about a week these streaming numbers just you know kind of scream up um you know are you gonna have those moments to really geek out and fangirl of yourself a little yeah. bit like take those times dude. i do i definitely do there's the little my parents have always said if they the little like simple things I like freak out over. Yeah. Like the tiniest thing. Like someone could like my post or even just like view my story and I'd like freak out. But like if I got my license, like it'd be like whatever. <laughs> like you know <laughs> no, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I have always been the type of girl to have the just the little things make so much more. To, they mean so much more to me. Yeah. So the little things, um, like me sitting up here is like really really it's a big thing. So like <laughs> it's 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 not processing yet. Well But like um, my name on the wall is like Really getting to Different. me. <laughs> Trust me. I mean, I don't, how do you feel about seeing our big giant faces on this wall too, Crystal? <laughs> kind of weird, right? Yeah, it's scary. Like I freaked out I a like little it. bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not even gonna lie. I'm surprised there's not a mustache that somebody's already drawn on there. <laughs> but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, what do you say? Another video? Um, yep. Yeah. Did we kill? Get into another TikTok. Put, a little TikTok video. Let's see what we got here. Oh boy. <laughs> so we need to know. This is a, this is a snack of mine. Yeah. We need to know what is going on with this snack hack, homie. Please my tell us about this recipe. My mom came up with it. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, so it's the like cup tortilla chips. All right. With, like sprinkle cheese is what I call it. It's like the shredded cheese. Shredded cheese, sprinkle um, cheese. And then you melt that like nachos, and then you put A1 steak sauce on, all over it. Have you ever had that? So, no. no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> mm, Never had yeah, that. Did, you, did you also kind of like, mm, for it's real? With the look? really, 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 really good. Oh. Hey, hold on, keep on. Don't, don't worry about what she just handed me. We got some free stuff for you. But it's but really, How did you really stumble good. upon this recipe, this ask, snack hack? Ask my mom. I have no idea. I have no idea. She's real creative in the kitchen. She is. I think it's because my mom and I are both big snackers. And yeah. I, we're always up super late. So we're always mm. like, what can we put together to make something really, really good at 1 a.m.? Should we try that one day? We should try that on the radio one day. Yeah. Maybe. Are um, you down to try I don't really like A1 sauce, though. I, uh, Isn't mm. it like tangy? 
Yeah, because yeah, I'm I, like I, I love like vinegar and I love hot sauce, so mm -hmm. that's like my favorite. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that combo that. seems a little scary, a little weird. But if you don't like a one sauce, Crystal, that's but you, I don't know if you all when you all listen to the show every Friday. She pops into the studio with hard-boiled eggs. Yes, I do. Ew. You know, you force those yeah. upon Gotta me. Gotta keep that protein up, and I have Duh. them in my bag right now, too. Duh. No shame. So, <laughs> if, if uh, I like A1, if, if I have to try another hard-boiled egg, maybe you have to try the... <laughs> what, what should we call this snack? What should we even call this? It's got to have a name. Ratchet nachos. Yeah. Ratchet <laughs> yeah. nachos yeah, 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 for yeah. the win. That's We're going to try some ratchet bed. nachos, fam. Oh, Sylvia, did, does your family make anything interesting or different or weird? Yeah, I feel like I, I like had Cheetos and salsa, and I dipped Cheetos in that. salsa. Oh. I don't know. I just made it up. And I like just salsa. Had that. Yeah, it's another that ratchet way. nacho situation. <laughs> no, no, no. Wow, but that the, is mad creative. The hot Cheetos and cream cheese. Has anyone no. done that before? What is yeah, going okay. I've been to some here, gross right? out faces, but trust me, I hot Cheetos know. and cream cheese. I don't this know. emoji, this is like me. what? Like yeah. Wow, for real? Is it just me or have like your parents at one point like for school made you like a peanut butter and jelly with like Doritos on it? Like, oh. mm. have you ever had chips on your sandwich? That's definitely my had mom's chips. favorite. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think around the room too. Chips on your sandwich after a day at the swimming pool. Yeah. Yes. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That hits different. Say anymore. That hits a little bit different. But yeah. this uh this this ratchet nacho situation, I'm down to try it. I mean, it might turn on to be something like, you know what I'm saying, spaghetti tacos on iCarly. Yeah. You know what I mean, who knows? It could be that next it's thing, dude. Really, really, really good. All right. Really I'm gonna good. take your word for it. For okay. real, for real. We're gonna tag you in the video. Perfect. All right. Um, I think we might have another. You want to do one more video before? Well, what was handed to me uh, on the stage? Everybody's like looking like, what's that little piece of paper? Like, is it a crazy question list or anything? Uh, to those of you that are hanging out with us uh, at Garden State Plaza, you know, as a part of our summer podcast series, we'll also uh, give me the chance for like meet and greets and all this kind of stuff. Oh, what's up? Holler at us, dog. You're part of the family. What's up? Yeah. Oh, we don't, we don't have any more videos. You lucked out. <laughs> you lucked out. All right, there we go. All right, appreciate it. Yeah, we got family here, but also we got some meet and greet winners who get oh, the chance yeah. to uh, to hang and to meet with you. All of you guys entered, right? Everybody set. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Should awesome. we? Do you want to read the names? Yeah, yeah we have some names uh, here. Right. Is Tiffany Cohen? Where's in the is building. Tiffany, is Tiffany here? Is Tiffany here? She's all out right. getting a wiener schnitzel. Maybe. Sylvia Brown. It's me. Oh, that's Sylvia. Oh, Sylvia's right here. Oh, wow, you wow. get a double whammy go today. Ahead. Delita Manick. Delita. Is, there, there, there we go. All right, hands up, boom. Hi. Anna Seda. Is Anna here? Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Yes, we want to meet and greet. And we have a few more on the bottom. <laughs> uh, we have, oh, yeah, we have somebody else. All right, so since uh, we haven't seen Tiffany yet, what about Jasmine? Is Jasmine in the house with us hanging out? Oh, oh, oh okay. So we got the whole yeah, family. All right, so we're going to get you all set up to do some meet and greets. Because, yes. Jenny, you know, you're like the coolest ever. And we, we've talked so many times about what your fans and what the folks here mean to you. Um, yeah. It's going to be our chance to, you know, give you the big hugs and, and tell you the same. But I know. Um, I'm a big hugger, so I'm very excited yes. to meet you guys. But yeah, as this, as we start to put a little bow on this, I mean, just how how excited are you to see your dreams come true and to, to know that you've worked hard at it, that it's not something that was an overnight, this is just yeah. handed to you, that no. you've really put the effort in? It's definitely not an overnight thing. It's yeah. been like years of, it's been years of crazy roller coasters. Yes. You I had no idea that this was going to be my life. I had no idea. I didn't even, this is not even what I intended, but I am so, so grateful for it. It was handed to me, and I will never take that for granted. Yeah. So I can't wait to just, like, see what's, see what's next because I have no expectations. I have literally no idea. I'm just, I, I am just as lost as you guys. Oh, we're all watching. ready for August 19th. <laughs> yeah, You're single to sure. drop August 19th. That's for sure. Hit and, that pre-save, y'all. Uh-huh. Before we dip, we have to say thank you to our co-host, Sylvia. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you, you so for much. Us. Round of applause. That's kind of dope. Right. One more time, thank you so much, Garden State Plaza, oh, so for having us. us. Just, you're just going to walk <laughs> off the stage now, girl? No, you ain't yeah. Come on, you can't wait till the close of the show. You can't just leave before we... We just My said bad. thank you. Yeah. yeah. Come on, you're part Sorry. of the family now. No, no, you're chilling, you're chilling. Again, thank you so much, Garden State Plaza. I'm Crystal. This is Maxwell. You hear us every afternoon on Z100. And we're, we're excited for these meet and greets in the back. So you're ready to it, too. One pop? more time, Let's ladies go. and gentlemen, Giannina in the house. You are the best. Um, yeah, thank you all for being a part of it. We're going to be uh, hanging out now. Somebody's going to win Post Malone tickets, which is dope also. And uh, uh, thank you to our amazing team who have made all this possible with the microphones, the video cameras, and all that stuff as well. And for you all, round of applause thank for you, you all for hanging with us. Janina, you're the best, girlfriend. Love Aww. you to pieces. Love you guys, People too. still do this, like the hand hearts thing. <laughs> there it is. From the top of the Empire State Building. <laughs>